What does it feel like to be in debt? It's easy to feel overwhelmed by debt. Unpaid student loans, an ever-increasing credit card balance with high interest. A monthly car payment. These are just a few reasons why young consumers feel like they carry a huge financial weight on their shoulders. When you're in debt, every financial decision feels like a burden. Whether it's deciding to spend money on essentials like groceries or delaying payments on bills, the constant worry about making ends meet can take a toll on your mental health. Each day brings a new wave of stress and anxiety. Knowing that you owe money that you may not have, it feels like you're stuck in a never-ending cycle. Struggling to keep up with payments while the interest continues to pile up. Your self-esteem takes a hit as you compare yourself to others who seem financially stable. You may feel ashamed or embarrassed about your financial situation. Especially if you're unable to keep up with payments or need to ask for help from friends or family. The weight of debt can affect your relationships as well. Arguments about money become more frequent. And the stress spills over into other areas of your life. You may find yourself withdrawing from social activities or avoiding situations where money is involved. What does debt do to a person? There's a strong link between debt and poor mental health. People with debt are more likely to face common mental health issues, such as prolonged stress, depression, and anxiety. Debt can affect your physical well-being, too. Debt can lead to sleepless nights as you worry about how you'll make payments or if you'll ever be able to dig yourself out of the hole you're in. The constant pressure can lead to physical symptoms like headaches, muscle tension, and even heart problems. Mentally, being in debt can feel like a heavy weight on your shoulders, affecting your ability to concentrate and make decisions. You may feel overwhelmed and hopeless, unable to see a way out of your financial situation. The stress of debt can also impact your relationships, causing tension with your partner, family, and friends. You may withdraw from social activities or avoid discussing money altogether, leading to feelings of isolation and loneliness. Is it okay to be in debt? Many people believe that having no debt is ideal, but in many situations, debt can actually be considered good for your finances if it helps you build wealth. For example, if you cannot afford to buy a home with cash, you may go into debt with a mortgage. It's important to distinguish between good debt and bad debt. Good debt is used to finance investments that will increase in value over time, such as a home or education. Bad debt, on the other hand, is used to finance purchases that decrease in value, like credit card debt for unnecessary expenses. Having some debt can be beneficial, as long as you can manage it responsibly. It can help you achieve important life goals, such as buying a home or starting a business. That may not be possible without borrowing money. However, it's essential to avoid taking on more debt than you can handle. High levels of debt can lead to financial stress and make it harder to achieve your long-term goals. It's important to borrow wisely and only take on debt that you can comfortably repay.